Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a robot that is in our coding kits called Cody Rocky. So this is the Cody Rocky box. And when we open it up, one of the first things that you're going to see is two things here. So these here are your color cards and what we can use those color cards for is programming Cody to actually identify the color and do some really cool stuff like moving or making noises. And then we also have right here, this is the Cody part of our Cody Rocky. So there's really two pieces to him, which is kind of neat. So this is one part of him. And if we look underneath of all this, we've got what we call the Rocky part, which is this guy here and he's got wheels and he's got a place right here for our Cody to click right in and sit. And if we look along the sides of the Cody part, we've got a couple of different things here. We've got our start button, so that's going to turn him on so we can work with him. We've got an A, B, and C button, and we've got a speaker right here as well. And along the side, we have a volume control. And at the very top, that is where we are going to plug in Cody Rocky for coding him so that he knows what to do. We also have on the front of the Rocky part, this little sensor here, and this sensor can be rotated so it can point downwards or upwards. And this is actually what will read not only the color cards, but will also be able to help predict if Cody Rocky is approaching any sort of barriers as well. And then we also have a cable right here. And this is the cable that we're going to plug into Cody to allow him to know what to do next. So those are the big pieces. I'm just going to set all this back right here with my Cody Rocky in front of me and my cords because everything else, I don't really need it just right yet. So I'm going to keep it all back in the box, make sure it's safe and protected for anybody else who wants to use it later. So let's now take a look a little bit at how we are going to code him to do some really fun, cool stuff. Okay, so this is the website that we're going to be using to program our Cody Rocky. It's mblock.makeblock.com forward slash en dash us forward slash. And we are going to be using the block based coding editor to program our Cody Rocky. You can see it's loading up everything. And so when it first loads up, you're probably going to see a bunch of this stuff here. This is just some code from earlier, but we don't need to use that because it's not for our Cody Rocky. So I'm going to click on it and we're going to drag it all the way over here until we see the garbage can. And that's how I know that I can now delete it. I can just drop it in there, just like I would be picking up stuff from the classroom, maybe and dropping it into a garbage can and clicking, picking it up bringing it over, trash can, dump, just like that. So you can see when it first starts up that it defaults over to our sprites, which would be if I was going to program this guy here, but I'm not, I'm working with my Cody Rocky. So I need to click on this one here that says devices. And there I can see my Cody Rocky is all ready and set to go. Now, if you start up and you don't see Cody there, you can click on the add button with that big plus sign and you'll see all the different devices that I can use here. So this includes my Cody Rocky and even the MBOT as well. Those are two ones that we like to use a lot, but Cody's there and you can just hit okay. And now I've got two Cody's. <laughs> so we'll just get rid of that first Cody. And now it wants me to connect my Cody. So I'm going to connect my cords, plug everything in, make sure that Cody is ready to go. Press his start button. And now I can click connect. We'll click one more time. And there we go. We are connected. And now I have a big upload button so I can actually start uploading stuff here. So let's just take a quick peek at what are some of the things that we can do with Cody Rocky. So you'll see the first one is emotions. So we can actually 
uh, have Cody Rocky show and communicate some of his feelings, looks, would allow us to scroll words across his screen or even program him so that he has big blue eyes like these ones here. You can change the way they look or you can draw really any image you want on there. Lighting is for his little red, uh, red, green, blue LED light that uh, is in the front of him. Um, we're not going to worry too much about this one right now, but just know that it's there. Speaker is for playing sounds, as you can see, or music. So if you want your Cody Rocky to say something or to maybe even play you a song, you can program that as well. Actions would be moving him so we can make him move forward or we can make him move backwards or turn left and right or just keep going straight forward and turning at specific degrees or angles, all sorts of really fun stuff. Sensing, we can use that and I'll show you in a little bit how to use that one uh, for avoiding obstacles or even detecting certain colors, which is a really fun thing to do. Under events, we have all of our blocks that we need to uh, say when Cody Rocky does something. So is it when his buttons are pressed or when he starts right up or maybe even when the Cody part is shaken. And then finally controls. So we can create loops, make him repeat certain actions over and over again, or we can use if then which would say if he does a certain action, then he's going to do another action. Okay, so let's get programming, shall we? So I'm going to go with events and I'm going to choose when button A is pressed. And now let's bring in a look and we'll bring in his eyes so that he has his eyes. And if you want to change the look on the eyes, you can always click on them and make those changes as you want. You can remove the colors or you can put a whole new image in there just by clicking on those little blocks. And now I'm going to go to action because I want my Cody Rocky to move forward for one second. Now another thing I can do here, just move these away, is under my controls, I can make him do this forever. Just like that. So even though it says move forward for one second, by putting it inside that forever, he'll do it over and over and over again. So when this program is downloaded, he's going to show his eyes and he's going to move forward. So we'll see how that works out. I'm going to hit the upload button and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so my Cody Rocky has his program uploaded and if we, we all remember, what's going to make him go is if I press the A button, which is right there. It has a big letter A on it. You can't miss it. So I'm going to hold him up so that he doesn't run off my table so you can see him go and you're going to see his eyes light up. That's the plan, right? So press A. <gasps> Here we go. But you might notice I didn't program him to stop, so he's just going to keep on doing this, even though it said for one second. Remember, I put it in a big loop that said forever. So forever until I decide to make him stop, Cody is going to move forward at 50% and show his big blue eyes. Let's make another program with our Cody Rocky. This time I'm going to have it start when I press the B button and we're going to try out some of his emotions. So these are really handy if you want to get Cody Rocky to help you tell a story. So I'm going to tell a story about me getting up in the morning. So first thing is obviously wake up. So we'll just drag that there. Then I'm going to make him yawn. So again, I'm clicking and dragging and locking them together. And then after he yawns, I think I'm going to let him smile so that he starts his day on a good note. 
and then finally look around. And again, I just clicked all those together. So when button B is pressed, he'll go, wake up, yawn, smile, look around. And it'll probably happen really quickly. So I'm gonna hit my upload button and we'll see what happens. All right, so now we've got our Cody Rocky ready to go with his second program. So if I press B, if I remember correctly, he should wake up, yawn, smile, and then look around. Sounds like me in the morning too. So let's see what he does. There's our B button. You can see there's a big letter B on it. Oh, looks like he's waking up. Oh, I'm looking around too. And there he goes. So he did everything I asked him to do, just like a good robot should, right? So now we're gonna make one more program with our Cody Rocky, and this time we're actually going to try using some of our loops. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of this part of my program. Just clicking and dragging, and there's my trash can. And we'll switch this back to A. And I'm going to come down into my controls. And I'm going to put in a forever. And I'm going to put in an if then else. And so what this will allow me to do is create a program where if something happens, then Cody Rocky will react in a certain way. And if it doesn't happen, then he'll just do something else instead. So let's go into our sensing and I'm going to use this one right here, the color detected one. And this will allow us to use those little color cards that I showed you earlier. So you can see, I know that it will fit because if you look closely, you can see that this shape right here, it's got those pointed ends instead of a rounded end. And so I can tell that these shapes here, because they also have pointed ends, will fit into that block. You can see how this one here has a rounded edge. That means it won't fit in that block. So I have to use ones with the pointed ends on them. So for this, I'm gonna use color detected is red. So if Cody detects the color red, then he is going to go Wow, because he really likes the color red. Else, I'm going to go with my looks and I'm just going to have him show his eyes. Just like that. So now if I read this program back to myself, I can say when button A is pressed forever, if the color red is detected, then Cody is going to say wow. Else, Cody is just going to show the image of his eyes, his big blue eyes. And once again, I can hit upload and it will install and he's ready to go. Okay, so I've got my color cards out and there's my red. I'm gonna very carefully remove the tape that's protecting them and keeping them all together. It's very important that when we're using our coding kits that we try to keep everything as organized as we can so that other people can enjoy them. It's really hard to use a coding kit after somebody's maybe, you know, not put it away properly. I bet you all probably understand how that might feel if somebody was playing with your toys and they didn't put them back the right way, right? Okay, so we've got our red card out and there's my Cody. And I know that if I press the A button right now, if I show him this red card in front of his sensor, then he is going to Oh, we'll see. So remember the else was that he just showed his eyes, but if he sees the red card, he's going to go, wow. <laughs> Neat, huh? Let's try that one more time and see if he does it again. He must really love the color red. Right? Very cool stuff. 
So I hope you all really enjoy using the Cody Rockies while you have them and hopefully it's something that maybe your school will even get a few for you because they're really fun to play with and they're a really great way to learn how to do some programming and coding. So thanks for hanging out with me and Cody Rocky today. Bye!